So I have put out an emergency poll on the community tab asking you guys, can we make two signings instead of the one in this January window? Okay, it's happening. Everybody stay calm. What's the procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm. At the time of recording, it's been out for 23 minutes. It's had 96 votes and 78% of you guys are saying yes, you can make two signings in this window, which is in this video. I feel very good. Last episode, we were really looking at Tanganga from Spurs. Right wing back, but if you move him to a center back, he does go up in rating. And when we did the Spurs crew mode, he was really good. We have a budget of 15 million, so we would be able to afford him. We wouldn't have to pay his release clause because we could get him for around 9 million. We have Gooey, we have Anderson, and our backup center back is Ward. We converted him to a center back because he went up to 76 rated. Last episode, we had a massive injury to Reedwald. He's out for about four weeks. It's probably two by now. So we only have one CDM right now, and that is Kowadi. And I am getting so many comments of you guys saying, convert him to a center back. He goes up to 79 rated. And with the amount of goals we're conceding and the results we're getting, I feel we could really do with Kowadi as a center back. He's got 64 pace. It's not slow. It's not quick. That is decent for a center back. Now, you you guys know I want to loan in Malang Sar from Chelsea. Loan because we could have a loan to buy when we buy him at the end of the year. He's worth 6.5 million, but if we offered 8 or 9 million, they would say yes. But this is where the second signing comes in. We could sign this center back. Not even going to try and attempt to say his name. He's 22 and has 84 potential. With 15 games in, we're 11th in the league. We're looking to push on. We've got some winnable games coming up, so we've got a massive episode. As I said, if you guys enjoy it, Leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on, and let's get into it. Last episode, split off the episode goes to Edward. What an episode he had up front, scoring some big, important goals. Asensio not winning it this time, but a close second place. And the first comment we're going to take a look at is this guy suggesting that we convert Koadi to a centre-back. He is saying we concede a lot of goals, and he actually plays best when he's at centre-back. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. We're going to move him to that centre-back position. We'll take two weeks, should go up in rating as you guys said. We will be in the January window at some point in today's episode. We'll probably go through the majority of it, maybe even make the two signings. And we have Seth saying, I'm loving this series. Hopefully, you can get European football. And we have JBC saying, what is your expectations for the season and where do you want Palace to finish in the Premier League? So I'm going to answer both of them questions. And you guys know, at the start, I said top half of the table. But if we could get Conference League football, that's really where I want to be finishing. We're currently 11th on 18 points. 8th and 7th spot are at 24. And that is where we want to be at. 8th place or is it just 7th? It is 7th place just for Conference League football. That is big. We, we have really got to start picking up results. It's going to be hard to do it. But if we don't, we definitely need to finish top half of the table. And we have Charlie saying convert Zaha to a center forward. It takes about a year, but helps him grow massively and helps him with the goal contributions. Currently a left winger and it would take 104 weeks to convert him to a center forward. That's two years. That would take far too long to do, and I don't think I'd want him as a center forward anyway. He only has 79 finishing. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but our top goal scorer and a sister right now is actually Edward. He's having a really good season. He's grown by two. He is 23. I know his rating has dropped off, or his potential has dropped off the last couple of FIFAs. This guy will be important for us. Now, a striker we could potentially go for in the future is Anthony Martial. He's 26, he's 80 rated, and I'd love to revive this player's career at some point in one of our series. Maybe it's not the Palace series, maybe it's the next career mode we do, which is probably going to be in the Bundesliga, by the way. Now, we're going to wrap up the press conference with the episode objectives. Last episode, we completed it. We finished top 12 by the end of the video, despite the poor results against City, etc. But we have Fishboy1-5 to five saying, episode objective, do not concede more than three goals. How are we going to do that? In a game, forfeit. If you fail it, you have to play everyone out of position for one game. That's a good suggestion. We will go for that. And that's very challenging. I don't know how we're not going to concede more than three. If we get three, we concede three. What does that mean? We're fine, right? Are we? It says more than three. Three's fine, four, bad. I, I don't really know. But to help us out, I'm going to say three 
is fine. Like as soon as we can see the second and it's 2 now, you know, that third is coming. Now, first game in today's episode is a massive one. We've got 12th in the league, Evident, who are two points behind us. If we want to be going up the table, we need to definitely win this to make sure the teams behind us don't start catching us. Obviously, Ridwald is still out injured probably for the next couple of weeks. We could try and play Anderson or someone. He gets a plus five, but he's only got 55 sprint speed. That's awful. Anderson gets a plus five and Kawadi actually is worse when he's a center defensive midfielder. That is interesting. So we're just going to switch that around for this game. That game against Arsenal last episode, a 2-1 loss, which we lost in the last five minutes of the game, was so unfortunate. We played well in it. We deserve to get a point from it, but we just didn't finish our opportunities. And as well, defensively, I mean, our keeper was saving us. So we need to make sure they don't get in our half or our box as much as they've been doing. Asensio, we're going to look for a big ball over the top to Zaha. Can he take that down? That's a big header away. That's a big ball over the top to Calvert-Lewin instantly. Th this is where we need to be good. You cannot, you cannot be doing it. The keeper shouldn't have saved that. We have just put the keeper in a horrible position. That should have been 1-0. Corner evident. We are awful. Bernadeschi, that, that's a decent signing. Header again. What are we doing? This keeper is just saving us constantly. Oh, another corner, another header over the bar. We are lucky 10 minutes in not to be 1-0 down. Look, even there, we have the leakiest defense in the league, apparently. That is awful. We have conceded the most goals. I mean, you can see why with Liverpool and City. Oh, no, they're passing it up. Oh, it's 1-0 instantly. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. It's that guy, Bernadeschi, as well. The player I just mentioned and said, oh, good signing. Yeah, great signing. It's just hang, sh hang, hand shot the top corner. Look at that. That's a thunderbolt. It's 1-0. Oh, no, another ball in behind. Oh, big tackle. I did press X to slide in, and I'm glad he did not. He just put the ball away. Big corner evident. Van der Beek steps over it. That's a good corner. Big header. It's deflected in. That is awful. Decoro with the goal. And that that's a shame. That's a real shame, that is. We have not reacted since conceding the first. We haven't really done anything, have we, going forward? Oh, it came off our own player as well. It came off Kawadi. That is so irritating. Oh, it came off his hand as well. So it would have been a penalty anyway. That is awful. I think looking behind us in the table is a little bit more realistic at this point. We need to really be careful. Oh, dear me. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's 3-0 before half time. I don't believe how bad we are right now. What on earth is Anderson doing at your box? Just stood there. Oh, that's a pass. No, not four. Not four. Richarlison, it is so hard not to concede goals. It, it, as soon as he got the ball there, I knew that that's a fourth. There's, there's, a, there's no way that doesn't go in. Okay, here's Eze coming forward. We've got a Sente on the right-hand side. Can we just get a goal? Can we not get hammered? We lost 4-3. So who was it last episode? Handball! Yes! Yes! Come on! Get it! It's a handball! I love this handball thing. I love it so much. Do we score it? That's the thing. It's a uh, Get out. We're putting a Sensu on it, man. I don't care. Sensio's on it. Pickford seems like he could be saving this. No! There we go. There's the goal. Get the ball. Don't celebrate. You'll look like a prat. He wants to look like a prat. Fair enough. I'm going to put Asensio in the middle. We're going to bring on Elise out wide. going to put Anson at centre back. And we're just going to bring on Hughes and say right centre mid. Okay, there's Marco Asensio. Where's Eduardo? Don't get in the way, Hughes. Out wide to Zaha. We could try and abuse corners, to be fair. Going out to the box. Let's get another. And, oh, it's for a goal kick. If we get corners, go out to the box and just shoot into the box. Surely we get loads of handballs doing that. Right. One last counter attack. Can we get a second? And, you know, just say it was a 2-0 loss. Here's Edouard. We've got people getting in the box. On to that left foot. That was good by Edward. Oh, referee. How have you blown it there? That was awful. That's a terrible bit of refereeing, that is. I, that is, um, uh, you know, we've lost. Uh, just shut up. You've, you've lost 4-1. Sensio's completed his development plan. He's, uh, he's 86 rated. He is now 86 rated. This guy is honestly great. We'll put him on support winger. Up that acceleration. All right, got Southampton now at home. We're going to sim it. Game to get by. It's a draw. You're kidding me. That was a good opportunity. 
opportunity to win. We get a 4-1 win away to Watford. Edward with a brace. Asensio and Zaha. You love to see. That's a big win. Now, approaching January, we do have two players who contracts are expiring come end of the year. Coadi and Klein. Klein is our backup right back. I'm sure we'll go into the window, summer window, next season and look for a better player. But Coadi, we could do with holding on to. So I will look to renew that now. He's now 32. I only want a one-year extension. No release clause. I want to see if he wants to drop his wages by 2k a week. He says yes. And the exact same for Klein. Drop his wage by three grand. And he says yes as well. We have his position change. Does he go up to 79 rated? Yes, he does. That is a big, big change right there. That's like making a new signing. 79 rated center back. He's got a five-star week for, as I said, he's not really slow. Anderson for now will play there. I didn't enjoy playing with him there because he's not good going forward. As soon as he gets the ball, passes it straight to them. We have Spurs now. I'm, I'm really not in the mood to be playing a top four club. We seem to just get absolutely obliterated by them. So we're just going to send this. It's away from home. We might get a draw. Perhaps not. A 3-1 loss. Kane with probably a hat-trick. Kane and Son and Asensio for us. Now, last game before January. It's a big one. It's Norwich. It's at home. Surely we get three points in this game. It's a 2-1 win. Edward with the two goals. You love to see it. So we're now officially in the January window. And the first off that I'm going to try and make is going for Nian Su. They don't want to actually loan him out. That is really irritating. We could actually buy him between 6 and 8 million, which is a complete bargain. The guy has great potential but we need to be buying a CDM. Can we loan? They don't even want to loan Sai. You're kidding me. We're going to have to try and raise some extra funds. What What about Tanganga? Can we loan this guy? They say yes. A loan to buy. What are they going to say to that? They say yes. A short-term loan. They also say yes to that. I should have done a one year and buy him next January. Okay, they can pay the majority of his wages. All that. Okay, at the end, 8 million. What are you saying, Spurs? 10 million. Yeah, that's fine. That is fine by me. Well, the first thing will do. Convert him to a center back if he accepts. He's got 74 acceleration, 80 sprint speed, 77 rated center back. That's a win. Sorry, Palace fans. I know it's a club legend, but Ward is going to have to go on the transfer list because we're going to bring in a center back and loan, and we really could do with getting the fun. Same with Jack Butler, and the back of the goalkeeper for now is Guaida. Now, an interesting suggestion was to go in for Daily Blind. He's moved from Ayas to Lazio. He's worth 16 million. If we were to pay his valuation, and move into a center back. He goes up to 86, but the problem is he is really slow. One of the CDM options was Kamara. His move to Manchester United is like 74 rated with 84 potential, but he's moved to United, so he's off the cards. Another option for CDM is Real Sociedad Zobia Mende. It's a center mid. We'd have to convert him to a CDM, and I don't really want to be doing that. There is Onana from Lille. He starts off at 73 with 84 potential, a valuation of like 5.4 million. I feel this guy is the best option. He's 76 rated with 84 potential around 13.8 million. He out of everyone probably will be the best option but I'll see if any scout reports come back for them and we'll probably sign him later on in today's episode. And next game is a big one. It's West Ham. They are right behind us in the league. It's at home. We're gonna sim it. Surely we get a good result. It's a 2-2 draw. Lanzini and Bellotti for them. Choose for us and Zaha. And Tanganga has officially been loaned in. There he is. He is 75 rated, but he is not here to be a backup right wing back. He is here to be a center back. It will take four weeks. He will go up in rating. But I am thinking, guys, we have three center backs, Anderson, Kawade, and Gui, who are all 79 rated. And we've also brought in Tanganga, who we will most likely actually purchase at the end of his short term loan. Why don't we cash in now and sell Kawade? because he's 79 rated. I don't know, is that like 8 million, 10 million? And spend a little bit more money on the CDM. We could do that. We could sign this guy from Leon. You all know him. Typical career mode signing. Kakare. I don't know how to say this guy's name, but would be a good signing. The exact same for Sangari. From PSV, he is 24, so he is a little bit older, but would be a solid option to bring in now. Now we have Doncaster in the FA Cup. The only cup competition we're left in, I have rotated rotated a little bit. We get a 2-1 win. Gallagher and Tanganga with a goal. We get a transfer offer for Kwadi without even putting him on the transfer list. It's valuation from Wolverhampton, 9.7. I'm going to try and get 11 million. See what they say. They say yes. Oh, 
They say no. You're kidding me. They say no. Right, Real come in for Ward, offering 4.2 million. I'm just going to accept that. I mean, 800 million for 5 million isn't much more. Now, we have 19 for the league, Bryden. For our next game, I was made aware that Bryden is actually a rivalry. A lot of Palace and Bryden fans treat this as a rivalry. So, we are going to play it. Liverpool is our next game. So, I'd rather be playing this. No need to rotate. There are some good boost ratings in the side, as you can see. We have to be winning this. Just realized we have Anderson at CDM still. We should probably have started Rewald. He is back from injury. Edward's in the box. Essential in the box. Edward! Kiva comes out. That's 1 0. What a goal early on. Crystal Palace make it 1 0. That wasn't actually the best of crosses. We're talking margins, by the way. The keeper should have got that right there. Or should he? I mean, I guess that was good cross. It's a good finish. It's a goal anyway. 1 0 Palace. Look at that. Great finish. Okay, it's Wilfred Zaha. He's found Gallagher. Now Eze. Look at Zaha making that run. Edward. Now Zaha. People getting in the box. Trying to cross it. We need to do that more. Because them handballs seem to be quite common, aren't they? Eze coming forward. Looking for Edward. Asensio out wide. It's a good pass. On to that left foot. He's got that rocket off the left foot. He could pass it. Still Asensio. Just going to hammer it. Oh, he's hit the bar. He has hit the bar from that position as well. That was quite tough. Oh, that's a foul. Surely that's a foul. Yep, edge of box, free kick. I should have probably just let them have the ball for advantage. Good opportunity from the free kick here. I don't know who's going to hit this. I'm guessing the first guy. No, nope. the second guy. Oh, no. Slide in. Can we get there? Yes, we can. Counter attack. Come on. Rosier. Let's go. Let's go. Ezzy, make the run. Going to play. Here's the number 10. Oh, we, what is that? What on earth was that? In fact, we should probably be playing Eliseo Vezzi. He has 86 potential. I don't know why we're not, to be fair. He's probably younger as well. Right, it's a sensu in behind. Let's get going. Let's get that second and finish this game off. Get the three points. We're approaching halftime. Here he comes. He is quite quick. Asensio nope. on his left. Good save, keeper. Here's Gallagher. Zaha at wide. Big pass to Edouard. He is inside. Here's Elise. Here's Eze. Ball to be played over the top. Edouard, can he take it down? He's done so well. Big save. Penalty. What's just happened? Is, did we foul? I don't know what just happened. Apparently, we fouled them. Every time the whistle goes, I, I think it's a handball. We have made two changes. We've brought on Reedwald and uh, Elise. What are we doing there? A nice bit of defending. And then we just give them the ball. Oh, that's a good pass. He's going to hit it. No. Yes. Good tackle. Still not away. Now away. Get in. Going to use that pace on that left hand side. Come on. Come on. Edward in the box. He seems to be good from crosses. Elise back post. Come on, Reedwall. Big header. Now here's Edward in the box. Now put it in the box. Asensio cleared away. This is a tense game. This is close. We could get that second. They could get the equalizer. We need to make sure we get the three points from this game. We seem to be terrible when we actually play the games. Oh, look at this passing play. Look at this passing play. Oh, good save, keeper. He read that. It was almost like I moved him. Good passing coming forward now. This is good stuff. This is really good stuff. Edward, that is some That's some of the best play we've made this year. Here's Zaha onto that right foot. This is class. Zaha, to get a second. Zaha, yes, what a goal. What a goal by Crystal Palace right there. That's the three points with 15 minutes to play. Zaha makes it two. We knocked the ball around so nice. Zaha cuts in and boom. We haven't seen much of that from Zaha this year. We've seen it from Asensio though. Okay, here is Bride in the box. Can we keep that nope. clean sheet? I said the word and the keeper saved it. Oh, that's a corner whipped in. Oh, no. Get out. You're kidding me. Why did I say clean sheet? Corner whipped in. He looks about 47. Corner whipped in. Big header. Oh, that is so irritating. They're back in it. Seven minutes to play. Surely we get the win. All right, here's Reedwald. Come on, Asensio. We need, we need a killer goal here. Get that third. Here he is on that left foot. Lionel Messi on the ball. That number 21. He needs that number 10. He's going to hit one. It's headed. It's not the best of clearances. Gallagher. Zahari is on side. Gallagher onto that right foot. Tackled. That's so lazy. No. No. We've got 
Oh, last kick again. Yes, it's gone out. That's the win. We get the three points when playing against our rivals, Bryden. We have a transfer offer for Butland. It is a lot less than his valuation. I tell you that. Valuation is 2.6 and they offered 1.9. Just give me 2.6. They say yes. Lazio come in for Kawani, offering 9.7. I'm not going to argue. I'm just going to accept that. Wolverhampton offer 36.4 million for Gui. Absolutely not. Ward has been sold. Butland has been so we've got 10 million more coming in for Kawani. We're going to have around 30 million to spend on a CDM. These are some of the CDMs we currently have on the shortlist. This guy's my favorite right now. Kakure, have you say his name is French? It could be Sarah. In the past, I have not signed him because he's pace, but he actually does have some really, really good acceleration and sprint speed. If you guys have any other suggestions, let me know in the comments. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Turn the bell on. And top left of your screen should be a video that YouTube recommends you watch.